Jeffrey Schmidt at Jeffrey Schmidt Music and today I have a video for you today. It's a dynamic mic shootout on Guitar Cab. So I have five microphones here for you that are going to be involved in the shootout. The Shure Beta 57, the Shure SM58, the Shure 57 but with the transformerless mod meaning that the transformer has been removed. The Shure SM7B um, and the No Hype LRM2, a ribbon microphone. So I have two sources for you upon which we're going to test all of these microphones. And the first source is chords that I'll be playing on my Fender Pawn Shop 51 with the neck single coil pickup into an Ibanez TSA 15 tube amp, which will then be recorded by each microphone. And as I said before, each microphone is going to be right up on the grill. And in addition to that, it's about two inches from the center of the cone of the speaker, which is generally uh, the place that I start and, and then go from there. But in this case, just for consistency, of course, I kept all of the microphones at that spot at the same spot on, on both of the uh, guitar amps. And then from the microphone into the Day King Mic Pre 1 into the Warm Audio WA76 compressor and then into my audio interface. And so that's my first source. My second source is a lead guitar, the Fender Pawn Shop 51 electric guitar on the Bridge Humbucker pickup into my Fender Blues Junior 3 tube amp into the microphone and then just like before into the Day King Mic Pre 1 followed by the Warm Audio W876 compressor. Lastly, I want to share with you my favorite mix of these two tracks. In addition to bass and drums, uh, there has been no EQ or effects added to the chords or the lead guitar. And I chose my favorite for this mix was chords on the Beta 57 mic. And if there was no bass in the mix, I certainly wouldn't have, wouldn't have chosen it. And maybe if I was doing EQ, I would have chose something different. But um, since I was just going with a, a raw mix of the tracks as they were recorded, 
Uh, I found that the Beta 57 was nice because it stayed out of the way of the, the bass a bit more in the track. And then for the lead guitar, I chose the SM58. Thanks for watching the shootout. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of this type of content in the future, subscribe to my channel. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. So just a note concerning the Shure SM7B. This is a Shure SM57. And if you look, you can see, you might not be able to see it on this video, but if you, many of you will have an SM57. And you can see where the plastic ends and where the capsule covered in foam within the grill begins. So there's maybe, um, maybe half an inch between the end of the microphone and the capsule. And then this is a Shure SM7B. The capsule of the Shure SM7B is maybe a good two inches from the end of the microphone, maybe even a little bit more when you have the foam covering on which is the way I used it for this shootout because that's the way it comes. So my point here is when comparing the Shure SM7B to the other three microphones, you need to know that there is going to be less bass because I put all of these microphones up as close as I could on the grill of each amp that I recorded, which is the way that I'm always going to do it. I could have tried to uh, stage the test and move these microphones back further uh, so that the capsule was the same distance as the Shure SMB, which would have been more fair. But in point of fact, that's not how I record my guitars and that's not how anybody records their guitars. The sound you want to get out of your Shure SM57, which is the standard guitar mic, guitar cab mic, is to just put it as close to the grill as you can. That way you get as much bass as you can. Okay, so that's something to know when you're listening to the Shure SM7B in these samples, is that because of the distance, the extra distance, maybe an inch and a half, maybe up to two inches more that the Shure SMB's capsule will be from the grill, you're not gonna get as much bass out of that microphone. And then the other caveat to this test is that obviously uh, the LRM2 is a ribbon mic and that it's going to sound quite different from the others, which are all dynamic mics. I'll also add the note here that supposedly the capsule of the Shure SM7B is exactly the same capsule as that of the SM57 and SM58 in case you're inter interested. So the difference in sound of a non-modified SM57 and a non-modified SM58 basically comes from the difference in the grill. Of course, in my case, since my SM57 is modified, uh, they'll be even less similar because of the fact that I took out the transformer. <laughs>